It's just fun watching your kid grow, hit the hill. She gets better and better every year, or I'm getting slower and slower, I don't know. T-shirts and sunglasses replacing beanies and goggles for those trying to squeeze in some spring runs. The weather is clear. It suns out for a little tan. But as is often the case, the weather can be deceiving. That is just a, a, a great recipe for avalanches to occur. Lots of fresh snow followed by warming temperatures means snow could move and move quickly. It's, it's springtime, and I think it's easy for people to, to turn off uh, the, 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 the thoughts of avalanches occurring, uh, when in reality we've just received a, a winter-like storm uh, the last few days, and now we have a lot of sun and, and warmth uh, that is a recipe for uh, you know, producing avalanches. Experts reminding you to check the forecast before you go. Make sure you have appropriate gear and consider receiving some formal avalanche education before you head deep into the mountains. A danger the locals are familiar with. Generally, we don't worry about it unless somebody wants to go into the back country. Then we say, you know, that's really not advisable. So we watch that pretty close as to what's going on. The good news, if you're skiing, sticking to the groomers should keep you out of trouble, leaving late season skiers to squeeze out as many runs as spring will allow. Ski resorts usually do their own avalanche maintenance. That's why a lot of times you'll hear those blasts going off as they try to loosen up that snow before it has a chance to move on its own. The Snowmit at Snoqualmie, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.